Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds has directed Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd to join a lawsuit against the U.S. Department of Education over protections for LGBT students. She asked this because the department had released new rules to clarify that Title IX protects against discrimination based on one, sexual orientation, two, gender identity, three, sex stereotypes, and four, sex characteristics. That means that schools that receive federal funding can't create hostile environments that cause significant harm to students because of their sexual orientation or gender identity, real or assumed. These rule changes don't touch on sports, but there will be separate rules released for that. The reasoning behind the rules comes from a 2020 Supreme Court decision which basically acknowledged that you can't discriminate against someone based on their gender identity or sexual orientation. Basically, you can't treat people differently just because they're LGBTQ, and now that reasoning applies to Title IX. The new rules exist because President Joe Biden signed an executive order in 2021 ordering federal agencies to review their non-discrimination policies and apply this reasoning. Iowa is joining 16 other states also suing over these rules. All of them have passed or tried to pass anti-trans legislation, including Iowa. In press releases, Reynolds and Byrd said they were defending women, standing against gender ideology, and overall dismissed the existence and concerns of trans and non-binary students. But both politicians have also been vocal supporters of abortion bans, which predominantly harm women's lives and freedoms. So, the new rules are supposed to go into effect August 1st. You can read more over at Iowa Starting Line, and thanks for watching.